Puma launched its fourth season of Project Pink in August with a new collection of apparel and football gear. The Project Pink collection includes t-shirts, sweatshirts, football boots, balls and goalkeeper gloves. Since the project began in 2010, it has given 100% of their collection profits to a chosen breast cancer charity. In addition, Puma have donated $1 towards the winning charity with every mention of Project Pink on Twitter or Instagram. In October 2010, you could vote for your favourite breast cancer charity, where the winning charity would receive 100% of the profits from the sale of Puma's Project Pink gear. Puma athlete and Boston Breakers midfielder Leslie Osborne talked about Puma's new breast cancer awareness and fundraising initiative, Project Pink. Women's professional soccer in Puma is, it came from the athletes, it came from us. We've had a lot of people affected by breast cancer. We're women and we want to help support this cause. You can go online and you can nominate your favorite charity. In September you can start voting for that charity. And in October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Puma will announce the charity that has benefited from all the funds that have been raised from Project Pink. In October 2011, fans' voices were heard as they voted in on their favorite breast cancer charity, with the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation being the winner with over $100,000 raised. The ladies of women's professional soccer swapped out their team colors in support of Project Pink for the designated game throughout the season. Women's soccer stars such as Karina LeBlanc, Tasha Kai, Marta and Amy Rodriguez were the main stars to headline their campaign. And they are donating 100% of their profits to the cause. project. Puma's Project Pink is my project. In 2012, Puma welcomed several celebrities such as pro footballers such as Jay Ruth Demerit, Alexi Lala, Amy Rodriguez, Casey Keller and Dwayne De Rosera to play in a celebrity football match to raise awareness and funds for breast cancer. Actress and singer Ashley Tinsdale gave her support to the campaign by being the 2012 Project Pink Ambassador. The program's core action items remain constant. Nominate, vote, shop, tweet and share. For survivors and any opportunity to support the cause is, you know, I'm here. My mother-in-law is a breast cancer survivor so I definitely wear the pink for her. It's so important for breast cancer awareness to, to get out there and for um, the fans to, to help support the program. Um, so we're all really excited and we're hoping to hopefully donate a lot of money today. I wear pink for all the people out there that are struggling or facing um, breast cancer. In recent campaigns, Puma released a Project Pink football boot. In 2011, Puma released their first Project Pink boot, dubbed the Pink Black White edition of Puma Speed Boot, the V1.11. In 2012, Puma released a Pink Black edition of their V1.11 predecessor, the Eversweet One. Pink was coloured on the Speed Cell upper and studs with the black on the Puma branding and sole plate. This year, Puma released an Azalea pink black version of the second generation Everspeed, dubbed the 1.2 boot, and a pink silver white version of the Everspeed 3.2, which we have here today. The 3.2 is a scaled down version to the Everspeed 1.2 boot. The boot is inspired by the shapes of muscles, tendons, and the smooth curves of a race car, as it boasts a super soft and comfortable microfiber upper. The sole plate boasts the Duroflex technology, which reduces stud pressure and increases flexibility and agility. The heel counter is very minimized as it provides a great reduction in weight and a low profile cushioning of the heel. It, bo it boasts a central lacing system which enhances the streamlined feel. The sock liner is merged into the heel offering great comfort in a speed boot. The boot lacks the Everfit cage, speed track and speed cell upper seen on the premium grade 1.2 boot. In terms of design, the boot is colored in pink on the upper tongue and studs which is complemented with a splash of silver and white on the Puma branding, sole plate, heel counter, heel lining and sock liner. So that's uh, just a brief unboxing of the Evo Speed 3.2. So that's it for the Puma Project Pink. So the question is, who do you wear pink for? If you have any questions feel free to comment below, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, plus one us can go plus and as always we'll see you next time.